My family is myself, my husband, my daughter, Macy, and my son, Samuel. Samuel is very cheeky. He's very stubborn with what he wants to do and how he likes to do things. And if he doesn't like something, he'll tell you that he doesn't like it. He's got the best smile and he'll just light everybody's life up. So at 39 weeks, Samuel was born via emergency caesarean. During the delivery, what we got told from the doctors, he was lifeless for seven minutes. So he lost all oxygen to the brain, which has caused quite a lot of brain damage. Um, so they had to resuscitate him. They bring him back to life. Um, and then that's where his journey began in the NICU. He's got cerebral palsy, he's a level four, he is spastic dystonic, and he has cortical vision as well on top of that. My name's Rex, I'm a physiotherapist here at Cerebral Palsy Alliance at Kingswood. Samuel was getting to a point where he needed a bit more help with his mobility skills. Samuel has less control in his arms and legs and his legs get very stiff. And as a result, he requires therapy, medical intervention and assistive technology like support a stroller and walking frame and standing frame to be able to move, play and enjoy life. The light gate would have been very helpful early on, especially when I had trouble giving Samuel physical assistance to practice the movement skills. The light gate would have given Samuel lots of supportive walking practice um, and also now would be able to practice a lot more holding onto a bar when walking because that's something that we've been trying to work on a lot during therapy now. I think the biggest challenge when it comes to Samuel's walking is me physically being able to transfer him around. So having something that's able to take that bit of support and help him move around is such a big thing. So Samuel's progress from when we first started to now, we went from him not wanting anything to do with any of his therapists to four years down the track and he loves every single one. He is going towards walking independently. He is doing so well with his speech and absolutely loves doing his OT as well. So my message to anybody that is willing to support the Cerebral Palsy Alliance is please do it because my son got his first walker, he got his first bit of therapy from them and without it, he probably wouldn't be where he is today. My hopes and dreams for Samuel are just for him to be as independent as possible and to just enjoy life. Mm -hmm.